Welcome to the 2014 Lighthouse Ladies KDW Fishing Tournament Official Rules. Categories. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're just jumping right in the categories. Relax. I didn't know you were going to do something. When I touch you, you're just going to talk. <laughs> okay. That's your cue. Oh, we got to get this right now. <laughs> <laughs> we got it down there. This, this is your cue to talk. Okay, good. Here we go. We're cueing you. That was your cue. My partner in crime here, Mr. Lee Strasser from the infamous Samantha Russell Band. Wait a second. Can we start again? No. No? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Please, wait. Wait a minute. No? Uh -oh. Three, two, one. Welcome to the Lighthouse Ladies KDW Fishing Tournament Rules. 2014. The official reading of the rules. Right. My partner in crime, Lee Strasser, well renowned guitarist for Samantha Russell Band, and infamous businessman as well. Hi. Johnny's going to tell you about categories and species. The category species are kingfish, dolphin, and wahoo. We also have, like in past years, our K Bonita category, which means you catch you can weigh any bonita over 10 pounds for a hundred dollar prize for the biggest bonita over 10 pounds. What about the fishing range, Lee? Johnny, I'm glad you asked because it's a very important question. There's a 25 mile range restriction and the 25 miles is measured from the Jupiter Inlet. So can you go out of the 25 miles? You can, but you're disqualified if you do, so that's up to you. And don't go east because it's, no, don't there go are west. roads. West. <laughs> west. I said west. He was never a boy scout. I said west. west. You can go west, but there's not many big fish there. Anglers may weigh in multiple fish species but they, they also can qualify for multiple prizes. So meaning that if you catch the biggest dolphin, the biggest wahoo, and the biggest kingfish, you rule every category. You can take prizes home for every category. And as far as license and permits, it's the beauty of it, this weekend, it's a free weekend. No one needs a fishing license if you don't have one. For this particular weekend, you don't need one. What about the uh, recreational fishing rules? Well, Johnny, you know what? Showing chest hair is out. As a matter of fact, all the young guys today they Sorry, shave their chest. So, okay. Uh, <clears throat> licenses. Where, where am I going? Where am I? Recreational fishing rules. All state and federal recreational fishing rules pertaining to weight, size, and bag limits are applicable. Applicable. I love, always love that word. As far as rods and reels, you can use rods and reels. That's about all you can use. Conventional uh, rods and reels. You can use wire lines, kites, down riggers, and planes are allowed in the to the extent followed by the state and federal regulations. What about disqualifications, Lee? Well, if you, uh, if you get disqualified, that's really bad. Just don't break any sorry, rules. You don't get fine. your money back either. However, if you do catch a big fish, let's say it's the winning weight, and you bring it in at 11 o'clock, and somebody else catches the exact same weight, and they bring it in at 11.03, the first one in wins. That's right. About the Johnny's going to tell you about the weigh-ins. You tell him about the weigh-ins this time. I haven't read those lines, but I'll be happy to. <laughs> He's, there's Damon weigh-ins, there's Marlin weigh-ins. Right. The weigh-in goes like this. Angler may weigh in multiple fish species and may also qualify for multiple prizes, but only one fish per category species will be accepted for an award. That's right. <clears throat> fish must be, kept, must be kept fresh and not frozen. And there will be awards. Johnny's going to tell you about the awards. I will tell you about the awards right now. But that's the fun part of the tournament, is that there are awards. Besides being a great charity. Awards. Awards go to finishes in one to three categories of each species for the heaviest fish. Heaviest dolphin, heaviest kingfish, heaviest wahoo. Uh, Lee's the next one, an expert on added entries. I am because I have it in front of me here. So I'm going to read it. And we just added that entry. Optional added entries open for registered anglers on June 5th during the captain's and angler meeting through Friday, June 6th. No added entries will be accepted after 6 p.m. on June 6th. Which will be at our captain's meeting, <clears throat> which is on June 5th is where you start, June 6th, Friday, no more added entries, so get them in. Maybe I'll tell them that again, because I don't think you were very clear, Johnny. Tell them again, Lee. Okay, optional added entries open for registered anglers on June 5th during the captain's and angler meeting through Friday, June 6th. No added entries will be accepted after 6 p.m. June 6th. 
I'm not going to tell him again because I think he did a fine job that time. Why don't you so tell can him I about enter? Licenses and can I enter after June 6th? Well, you can because you're really nice, but <laughs> and you're redhead. Yeah, and you look great <laughs> and everything else. But no, you you can enter the tournament. You just can't enter the added entries. And as far as hold harmless, you fall off the boat. You get eaten by a fish. That's your problem. Responsible. Yeah. So because you're going to sign a release before you go out, or you can't go out. Exactly. And uh, if you want to participate, you, you have to sign a release because you're responsible for Are your you own right? actions. Because you're an adult, and we respect you, and we believe in you, and we know that you're going to do fine. But nonetheless, if something happens to you, it's on you. He said or a little disclaimer at the end of the commercials on oh, yeah. TV. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so everyone accepts these rules. It's going to be a fun tournament. My boots are available at Stingray Fishing. These are they're wonderfully comfortable. And, um, and as you can see, they're available in size 6.